everybody. Here comes your present. Maybe it was the sound. Maybe it was the corny commercials. Or maybe it was the miraculous process that took place right in your hand as the image emerged. There you are. Happy birthday. Oh, you to be Belle. Good looking pig. I've seen better. But yesterday's state-of-the-art technology has now become just yesterday's technology. The Polaroid plant in the Netherlands that supplied the world with film stopped production last July. Polaroid, the tombstone reads, killed by digital. It was no chance for Polaroid. Digital was faster, cheaper, easier, better quality, whatever. And then suddenly it turned out to be uh, that the people are starting missing something. So Florian Caps, an Austrian businessman, bought the old Polaroid plant and set up a company, The Impossible Project, to try to bring a new kind of Polaroid back for its many stubborn devotees. There is about one billion working million. cameras out there in the market. Billion Polaroids still yeah. out there. It's, it's amazing. The cameras are being found in the backs of closets and in attics. But there's a problem. The existing stock of film is running out or well past its sell-by date. Enter the man who ran Polaroid's European production center. Polaroid was always very secretive. This Absolutely. was a top secret project. Absolutely. Secret no photographing here. In a new top secret project, the company is developing a new instant film to try to recapture that old magic. The thing of you hold it in your hands, you see it develop, and even after 28 years, I mean, that's a lot of years looking and f developing film, every time there is this, this, this little adventure, what, will turn, what it exactly will turn out. It's the photographic equivalent of the vinyl record. The imperfections, part of the charm. The wait for the finished product, which seems so short then, so long now, part of the fun. The new company thinks it can sell 10 million film packs a year. It's hoping the sound of the past may also be the sound of the future. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Enschede, the Netherlands.